right guys, so this is going to be a little story time episode story time episode of the vlog, I guess. So a while ago, I entirely gave up on Facebook and, and various other social media as well, but specifically Facebook, there were several reasons why I gave up Facebook and I want to just explain a bit about why I did that. So the first thing is that I realised sudden, fairly suddenly how often I was checking Facebook. If you have it on your phone, it's often the first thing you look at when you wake up, you check it whenever you have a spare few minutes during the day, and then when you get home from work or you try and relax in the evening, it's often what you spend the most time checking as well. You'll find yourself watching a film, maybe you're with your partner or with your friends, but more often than not, people will be scrolling through Facebook even when they're doing those activities. So even when you're supposed to be relaxing and socialising, you're still relying on your phone to take your attention away from what you're supposed to be doing. It's the ultimate distraction tool. Now, I'm not saying Facebook is bad or that you should quit Facebook or anything like that. What I am saying is that you should be aware and mindful of how often you check Facebook, simply because if you do it too much, it's going to be a reinforcing dopamine cycle where you're constantly looking for that next fix of dopamine. Now, dopamine is sort of like the chemical involved in addiction and motivation. It's what makes you want to keep doing things. When you eat something nice, you get a rush of dopamine, which is what makes you, in theory, want to keep eating and therefore keep being alive. It's also what is released during sex and all these sort of things that are usually is released only when it's something that's going to enhance or continue your life. Dopamine is also involved in things that you enjoy doing, but maybe they don't give you a, a direct benefit to your health. So a great example of that is with Facebook. When you check Facebook and click the little notification icon, the red icon, and then it goes away, that's going to give you a rush of dopamine because it's addictive. And the more often you do it, the more you'll need to keep doing it to get the same sort of high. Now, most of us when we use Facebook don't think of it as a drug and we don't think of it as something that's addictive. But that's until we try and stop using it. And if you actually try and go a week without going on Facebook at all, you'll find that it's really hard to do. Not only is it really hard to do, but you'll start feeling a little bit anxious, you'll feel bored, frustrated, even a bit restless. And that's because you're used to using Facebook to get that rush of dopamine. You're used to checking people's stories. You don't really care about the stories you're reading, in most cases. You just want to read something new and consume information and check your notifications and check your messages. But you're not really achieving anything. You know, if you really needed to contact someone desperately, you'd call them or you know, you'd go and see them in person, but it's more often than not just a stream of adverts, maybe the occasional video from a related page, or the occasional story from people that you follow or that you are friends with. So there's that, there's the dopamine issue, the issue of it being addictive and taking up lots of your time, but there's also the issue of adverts, and there's a lot of adverts these days. I actually did an experiment before I left where I would scroll through my feed and, and count how many stories or things that I was seeing were actual stories I was interested in and I uh, had asked to see, like following a page, following a person, or an advert that I hadn't asked to see. And more often than not, it was about one in three was an advert. This was at the time I, I did this back in, I think, 2017, towards the end, uh, maybe, maybe slightly earlier. Anyway, yeah, it just seemed like it was a lot of adverts, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Obviously, they've got a business to run, and adverts are what supports that. You know, I use adverts on my YouTube channel, but they're sort of not as invasive, I feel, as Facebook. Facebook ads seem to be all over the feed, and they were sort of, in most, in some cases, all you would see is just adverts and pages that you didn't even follow and things that other people had commented on that you weren't really interested in. So I felt like it was taking up too much of my time, and... In my opinion, and I've said this on other, other videos as well, time is a really important thing. It's the one thing we can't really buy more of. Once it's used up, it's gone. You know, everything else we can, money can sort of help to, you know, if you lose a house or something, you can rebuild it. But you can never really buy time back. Once it's spent and used, it's gone. Um, and so I would just rather use those hours. And, and if you don't believe me, time yourself. Time every time you go onto Facebook, how, you, how long you use it for. And then at the end of each day, write down, maybe make a journal. So at the end of each day, write down how many hours, or if you don't think it's been hours, how many minutes you've used Facebook for in that day. And then at the end of the week, at the end of the month, see how long you've spent on it. And then combine that, right, with the, the fact that the first, so I'm going to go off on a tangent here. The first 20 hours of studying a new skill, 
you will achieve exponential growth at that skill. There's been a TED talk about this. I'll try and think of a, a link to put in the description. But what I'm basically saying is in 20 hours, you can get pretty good at almost anything in the world when you really break it down and practice it. The first 20 hours are the sort of 70 to 80% growth in that skill. So if you're using Facebook for more than 10, 15 or even 20 hours a week or even a month, that is an entire skill you could have learned in just it, just in that month. You could have spent those 20 hours learning a martial art, you could have learned a language, you could have done a lot of things that are more useful and beneficial to your life than scrolling through adverts or scrolling through pages you're not interested in. Especially when you're not even messaging people or even using it for the thing it's designed for, which is being social. Especially when you're just looking at adverts and random pages, you could easily spend that time doing a lot of things that are more beneficial and productive. You know, I mean, 20 hours is a long time. You could learn a lot in 20 hours. So, so that's it guys, I just wanted to make this video to share my experiences with Facebook and, and not just Facebook by the way, this is every social media platform. If I need to have social interactions or if I need to contact friends or you know message people that I care about, I would just use my phone. And you know there are various apps, you can use WhatsApp, you can use Skype or anything like that, where it's a more direct connection and more intimate anyway. And you're not even, you're not flooded with adverts and you can just actually talk to the people or even heaven forbid go and meet the people that you care about in real life so that's just my opinion guys you can take it with a pinch of salt obviously because everything on this channel is subjective it's obviously my experiences my opinions i'm not an expert in in social media or, or anything like that so that's just my opinion guys hope you've enjoyed this video